Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. So today is Tuesday the 27th of February 2024 and it's Cross Stitch Conversion Day. Right, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you might want to check out the playlist first up in the right hand corner there. That is my whole journey from the start, but basically I am vlogging. Right, let me pick a colour. Let's do, I want something small. That's okay, 794. Oh, I'm right here. Um, yeah, so I am... Oh, I've lost my train of thought already. This is <laughs> the best of starts. <clears throat> oh, I'm a little bit croaky. I hope I'm not... I was a bit worried. I've got a funny... You know, sometimes when you sort of wake up in the morning and you kind of swallow and it's like... It's not sore, but you like it feels, feels off. Hopefully... I am not coming down with anything, I, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, if you if, <laughs> if you don't know what's going on, story of my life, one, two, three, four, then um, yeah, you might want to check out that playlist, which uh, shows my entire journey from the start, because I'm vlogging it. So that includes buying all the drills and the canvas. Uh, some bad news about the picture, though. So this is, I, I put a picture of uh, what I'm, converting this is a uh, dragon race into the night but unfortunately i've just heard that um heaven and earth designs which is who i bought it from they are they're discontinuing they've had a fallout of some sort i think with the uh, agency that licensed a few artists that they have because obviously all these pictures are, are licensed from heaven and earth designs and uh, unfortunately, Rose Khan was one of them. So you can no longer get this. I've kept the link there. Um, but yeah, unless it unless they resolve their differences, then this one's gone. But it might t it might turn up because I assume it was an exclusive license. So another cross stitch company might pick it up. I don't know what the what the situation was. I just know that it doesn't sound like they parted company on good terms, though. Uh, uh, yeah, so, and as you can see, I'm doing, I'm, I'm aiming for four squares today. No, that's six squares, I can't even count. So we're being optimistic, because I do want to get this all in, done in one go. Um, since the last um, video, which was at the beginning of February, I've only had time to do four squares, like, over here. So... Yeah, I, I, but that's okay. I didn't have much time to work on it in February, but that's okay because I gave it a big splurge. One, two, three. Here. I gave it a big splurge in January, remember, to try and catch up. And the average for this painting, the average daily amount of, no, average daily amount of drills placed for my stitch pal pattern you know, the uh, tracker, one, two, has an average drill placement of 18 a day. So I figured as long as I beat me 18, 18 drills a day, I can't remember if I said this in the in the first video, because I knew I, I, I was suspicious. I had a feeling that I wouldn't get much done this month because I, I've got two other paintings that I'm working on, including another cross stitch, my Jasmine Beckett Griffith one. So that's a cross stitch conversion. Uh, one, one, two, three, here. One, two, three, four, yes. So I've been working on that and that's nearly 25% done. It's amazing, it feels so good. I jumped, I leapt right in with this big project and I don't need that sort of uh, motivation to keep me going sort of thing. But I gotta say it is nice. Because already I'm starting to get quite low on certain colours in the other painting. Which means, you know, I'm, everything is closer to a zero here. This painting, I'm not getting a zero for a very long time, I don't think. So I'm getting that little, those little um, dopamine hits of, you know, feeling like I'm progressing. But yeah, so I'm, I'm nearly 25%. Of that painting and also uh, or blah, blah, and also I've been working on that what was it called true love the Curtis Rykovich 
from Dreamer Designs. So that's going well. I think I'm, I'm looking at that. Uh, obviously, I can't track it so well, but it, it's by the eye. But I'm over a third done. I'm, I'm approaching the halfway mark, which, you know, it, it's not too bad. It's not too bad because I was working two, uh, two paintings. So, yeah, anyway, I started that line, that train of thought, by saying that 18, 18 average a day, because I knew this month would be busy, because I was, well, February's a short month anyway, so that's part of it as well. But because I was working on other things, I was like, well, as long as I do more than 18 a day for February, which is only 400 and something drills, and I did that in the first session. I've not actually posted that video yet, because I'm a slacker, but... Um, that I've got I've got one other video in the bag for get in for February. You don't want to go. And right, let's pick another colour. Let's do something. I like to do the colours that aren't 729, that there aren't a lot of, so that I can get the base in to count off of. So yeah, it only needed 400 and something drills, which I did in the beginning of the month. So I think that was about the 8th, I want to say. So I don't know why the 8th sticks in my brain. I've got a little bit of paper stuck there. It's not paper paper, it's just like, you know where, you, where I cut the edge and it's like a little bit of a rough edge? So it's like paper fibre. I think I've got it all. That's all my, all my tweezers. I'm using the new tweezers. This is the tweezers I got from um, Diamond Art Studio. And I really quite like them. I've never used angled tweezers before. But they're... Um, look. look. <sighs> Three at a time. I'm not going to make a habit of that, though. But, but it, yeah, it's nice to have the option there. Should I feel wild? But... Um, yeah, so I got my 18 a day for the month, you know, to keep up that average. So this is bonus. So we're not going to fall behind. We're actually still pulling ahead. I can't remember what it was left at. Something like the year 2088 or something was my finish date. So whether or not we'll get out of that by the end of this session, I don't know but we're still going the right way. And that's the important thing. I don't want to fall behind. At worst, I want to stay like, you know, on the spot, but I don't want to fall behind again. So I think what I'll do is once I finish that, that other cross stitch conversion, and I am obviously got my eyes set on another cross stitch conversion. That's a smaller one. That's the Artemisa by Ennis Guerrero that I've got planned. And that's to start in the summer. So, Stitch, stitch Pal. Let's tick these off before I get sidetracked. Stitch Pal tells me that I'm on track to finish the Jasmine Beckett Griffith one. Well, I've fallen behind a bit. It was early May, but I'm now I'm now later in the month. So, it's I think it was like the 22nd or something of May. So we'll see how that goes, but I think we're, we're still on track for a summer finish, but I think what I'll do is what, what, whenever I do finish that painting, I'll, I'll spend like the next month, like just working on this one. Oh, I have a spillage. Oh, these trays, I, li I like these trays, but both of them, I've got two, both of them, the drills always I always get stuck in the rows and then I end up whacking to try and move them and spill the drills. Maybe I'll get some sandpaper down and just, you know, smooth the edges or something. I don't know what they get caught on. Right. So how are you all? My God, we're 10 minutes in. 9.22. And I've only just stopped to ask how you are. How rude. 9.22. 
I hope you are well. I hope that think life is treating you well and that oh we've got a lot stuck together here. And that let me just crunch those up. I just use my fingertips. <laughs> but it works. Mostly it works. Fingertips of steel. And uh, I hope you're getting lots of diamond painting in. And looking forward to spring. Or, depending where you are in the world, you could be in the Southern Hemisphere. And looking forward to autumn, maybe. It was really cool. I was looking at my... Um, stats i don't really oops i don't really uh look at it from a numbers point of view you know the youtube stats but i do find like things interesting back there sometimes and i noticed that subtitles people use subtitles and there's somebody who uses japanese because you know it auto does the captions and someone is watching from japan or the or they speak japanese they can't speak english I'm like, oh, it's just like, I, I, the internet is amazing, isn't it? 318. Internet is absolutely amazing in that it brings you people from around the world. I only need one of these. I'm not going to, I'm going to be brave, even though the pot is really, really full. Look at that. Do you know what? That's just, I want to get that shut as quick, quickly as possible before I have an accident. But uh, yeah, like the internet is, I mean, the internet has its downsides. We all know what they are. But the good far outweighs the uh, the bad. Unlike having people from around the world. Amazing. Right. Um, I'm trying to, uh, sorry, I had a brain freeze there because I'm looking at numbers. 372. 372. I was looking at numbers and trying to talk. And it doesn't always work. <laughs> just like my brain just. So it can't. It's not like it does one bad and one well. It's just like I just have. I could just get. I just. You know. It's like um, when a computer free hangs for a bit. <laughs> it's just like the processing power goes down. And I, and I end up not doing anything. I'm just stuck. That little wheel that goes around. That that was my brain just then. All right. Okay, but uh, yeah, so hopefully, wherever you are, you are looking for, forward to spring or autumn, wherever you are. Let me know where you are in the comments, because I can't see, I, I can see generally, you know, the continent that people watch from. But say hi, let me know what what country, you don't have to get too specific if you don't want to say your city or anything like that. No, you can, but I'm I'm curious. I'm curious as to where you are all from. I love that sort of stuff. Talking of um, sort of statistically type things. All right, let's do my next colour. Uh, let's do that. At the time of posting, that is 5.24. At the time of posting, I literally just put up a post on my community tab. I always forget about that. I forget that exists. Um, I must get in the habit of using it more because I don't have a Facebook group or anything. I, I lurk in other people's Facebook groups for diamond painting, but I don't have my own. But I should use the community tab more. Anyway, I just remembered it was there. <laughs> just randomly, I thought, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So I put a little poll up because I was curious about when people had the most time to diamond paint or you know it's not a strict rule but i just put up you know when do you get most time to diamond paint is it weekday evenings is it weekday day is it week end weekend day or weekend night and at the moment it's um it's mostly people do their diamond paintings in the week weekday night, which is surprising me because I thought more people would be doing it at the weekends. But mostly, I guess I have no life, <laughs> so I don't do much at the weekends, which is why when I do a lot of my diamond painting, 
So uh, yeah, go check that out. I'll leave a link in the uh, in the description below. Go add if you haven't voted in the poll. Go check out that. We'll see if we get get more people to see if um, oh that's trash. Do you know get a, get that idea of when when can everybody diamond paint? Uh, tick that off. But yeah, mostly. I mean, I do diamond at the moment. I'm di I am diamond painting pretty much every day since Christmas. Since I was back after my break, I'm still. I'm. I'm slowing down a bit. I think I did have one day day off. I mean, I just didn't feel like it. I was playing. Um, I do play video games. If you don't, if you were, if you wasn't here before when I used to post these. Um, Thingies, what's this? Eight three three. Oh, that's in the other pot. Of course it is. Oops. Oh, gotta be careful. I'm not the camera. Eight three three. And what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was. I was talking about you know what else I do. Um, I, and I do play video games. Well, I play in an MMO RPG, which is like an online one of these perpetually online games so you just log into the server and play and i play final fantasy 14 which is a really good game it's got a great story and this made me cry it's so good <laughs> i've never played a video game that has the story has affected me it's like it's just like reading a really really good book and that is a rare thing in the video game. Like you do get some with good stories, for sure. But like, unfortunately, they're the exception rather than the rule. And uh, yeah, this one's really, really good story. I highly recommend it if you do play games. Though obviously it's a bit of a time sink. But they got a free trial up to an expansion called Stormblood. So you get the base game, you get the first uh, X-Pac, which is Heaven's Ward. And then they've just recently added on... The second one so um you don't have to pay for it or anything you, there are limitations but you can play like it's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of free content it's amazing it's the best free trial i've ever witnessed right three eight five four but i'm really into it <laughs> i'm really into this game three eight five four i and um before my last break i don't know if you was here you might remember i was talking about I've, they had a con it basically is conven it was a convention for the game in London. So obviously, I wanted to go because it was in London, and I'm in London. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's not often you have something like that on your doorstep. Uh, what was I doing here? And tickets were really hard to get because it, it was limited. I think there was only like three thousand or so, three to four thousand tickets. And a lot of people wanted to go because this was like covered the whole of the Euro of Europe, and they like they rotate countries. I think they have one in Paris, and I think they've had one in Frankfurt, and like they rotate the locations. So it was London's turn, and basically there was a lot of people who all wanted to go, uh, including like some of my friends that I play with in the game, and um, so it got to that th that sort of moment where. You know, like when tickets come online at 9am and you have to like, and everybody's waiting for it. It was one, it was one of those. And uh, I'm the only person who got a ticket. <laughs> so I went by myself. And that was in October. Right, 612. So that was sad because obviously it would have been nice if even one of my other friends could have gone. But they didn't. So I went by myself. But I had, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I mean, I would po I would post pictures, but um, like it would mean nothing to you. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, because um, there was like cosplays, amazing cos. Wow, cosplays. There was professional ones there. Who knew that they were professional cosplayers? But there are. So um, they were there, but it was incredible. Like these people should be working in, you know the. F the film in the, oh no, I shouldn't say they should be. They obviously they're doing quite well being cosplayers, but they could they could work in like the film industry making costumes. So talented, but it was all it was all good fun. I I really enjoyed it. I had that just after I came back off 
holiday 782 uh, 782 so yeah I went on holiday at the on my cruise um, I didn't post pictures of that in this did I I think you'll have to check my whip and chat that I did for true love Valentine's Day um, if you want to see pictures of where I went on my cruise my Mediterranean cruise but I went on that in the beginning of October. It was a 12 night cruise. It was very, very pleasant. We went to Madeira and Lisbon and all, and uh, Canaries. Anyway, yeah, if you want to, if you want to, if you're interested in that, go check out my Valentine's Day whip and chat. Because I actually posted a bunch of po photos there. But literally, I we got back on the, mm, when did we get back? I think it was the Sunday. I think we got off the cruise on the Sunday. And like the following Saturday and Sunday it was this convention thing. So, yeah, October proved it was a busy month. 976. 976, 976. There we go. Ooh. I only need 96 of these. Talking of getting near zeros, I, I doubt if I will, but you never know. Is there, we're working on a tree. I might have more of these, but not today. I've only got three, six, no, about 15 of them, I think. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you, if you play games or have heard of Final Fantasy fourteen or any of that sort of thing. Do let me know. Because I know some of you do. But I try not to nerd out about it. But uh, how did I get onto this? Oh, because I, I was talking about what when we die, when we have time to diamond paint. So at the moment, I've got a lot of time to diamond paint because... Um, no, change the pen tool. Because Final Fantasy fourteen is... At the end of its, its expansion, you know, like it's extra downloadable content. So we're just waiting for the next one that come, and that's not due to lad in the summer. So when that comes, I'll have to oh, I'll have to make sure I do some videos in advance. Oh no, I'll have to be organised. <laughs> I'm not organised because uh, otherwise I'm just going to be dis I'll just disappear for two months because <laughs> I'll be playing this game like crazy. Less time for diamond painting and videos but um yeah usually I, 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 oh, i've done that one have i no i've not done that one it's just that other color is so close it looks like it oh. come on why are you all stuck together i should have pulled more out shouldn't i um oh, i've lost it train of thought is gone Summer, not have much time, be organised. Oh God, be organised. But um, yeah, I just, I, I'll, I'll just like disappear. So, but at the moment, that was it. At the moment, I've got lots of time, which is good because I'm getting all of my my diamond painting out of the way with that I had that I couldn't do last year. Uh, if it, I did mention this tray, this is uh, from Admiral Zest. And links to everything that I'm using is in the description, including the rose car, including the heaven and earth design pattern that you can't actually buy. But the link is there in case it comes back. Right then, let's do this colour. I'm hoping it'd be quite quick today because uh, 8.32. Where are you? Where are you, 8.32? There we go. Here. Oh, so I uh, my my latest I won't say obsession, but I am a little bit obsessed. <laughs> it's my personality. So I was oops, I was resolved to one of the things on my to do list for this year was to I don't want to I don't want to see it as like losing weight or anything, but I, I just you know you get reached that point where you just. You just feel unhealthy. 
and I'm starting to feel just a little bit clunky and lethargic and so I was like right let's do something about this it's about time so they're just thinking about getting a bit fitter let's actually do something because it's the year of getting stuff done remember and that includes this so I I'm not very good with things like gym memberships and you know all that sort of thing well once I start paying the money I it like I've become immune to the cost so I you know I'll do it in the beginning because I'm really enthusiastic and then I I don't miss the money anymore and then I'm just like eh, I'm not, I can't be bothered and then I end up wasting loads of money until I get around to cancelling something but um this so I decided what to do but you know I can kind of I don't mind going out and for a walk or whatever but I, I feel like I need a reason to do it. I can't just go out. My other half, I've told you, my other half, he'll go out. He'll just wander. And he'll window shop and things like that. Like that. 3776. 3776. But I, I can't do that. I, I need to have a, a, like, a... It just feels like a waste of time otherwise. <laughs> so I don't do it. And anyway, I found the... I just needed a purpose in life. How deep. So I found these, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of them. It's a virtual challenge. And I think they got really big during, you know, the lurgy that shall not be named. You know, when everything shut down and people couldn't go to work. And well, the only, about the only thing you could do was go out and for exercise sort of thing. So these virtual challenges took off, really took off then. And basically, right. Four, three, six. Do that one. Um, basically, it's so there'll be like different um, distances. So you can do like a marathon length one, or like a, a really long one, like the Amazon. You know, there's a whole the Grand Canyon. It, they're all over the world. So the the location is online. Is like you know these different what places around the world. But you can walk it wherever you like. So, you know, if I, you just need one that like a Fitbit or you can just use your phone because, you know, a step tracker. And, uh, you know, you can just go out for a little walk. Normal, normal day, go out for a little walk. And then you post how far you walked into your app, your uh, virtual challenge app, and it'll tick off how many miles you've walked as if you're walking um, New, the, the New York Marathon. So obviously, and you don't have to run. Obviously, I, I, I don't think I even could run these days. I run for a bus, and that's about it. Um, but you tick it off, and um, you know there are free ones, but I wouldn't be very good with that because I need that. Um, I need that kind of tangible reward. <laughs> One thing about me, I found out, I because uh, I'm really, I'm really sold in on this now. That now that I've started it. Um, it's really worked on my mindset so I, I'm i very shallow <laughs> so it's just like so you get a medal for it now for the record you do have to pay for these challenges they're not free but um, I bought a five pack so it works out about £24 a challenge and like I mentioned there are various lengths distances that you can do and you can choose how long you want to do it you know, if you wanted to, um, the one I am doing is um, Mount Fuji, which is 46 miles long. And I've given myself six weeks to do it. I'm way ahead of schedule. I've only been doing it. I got them. This was the Valentine's Day present that I mentioned. Oh, I'm done. In the Valentine's Day chat, now that I think on it. Um, and I wasn't sure I was going to do it. And then I did do it. So I bought a multi-pack and my other half is doing... Land's End to John O'Groats, so that's like a thousand miles. And I thought I would start something <laughs> slightly more modest. So Mount Fuji is 46 miles, so you get your medal at the end. And, uh, but as you put, it's a, like a charity thing as well, 733. So every 20% 20, 20 of the challenge I do, um, you have a choice to either plant a tree or take, I think it's 10 plastic bottles out of the ocean. So basically you're making a charity donation every time you hit a 20% milestone. 
and it's really cute they send you little postcards because it's, it's like you know like the little peg man you get on google maps where you can put it on street view and stuff like that so you get that map in their app and uh, it's showing where you are in the map so it, it, every time you know you can look at the environment where you are so even though you're i'm just walking at my my front door uh three eight five two three eight five two where is it over here um so you can see where you are and it's really cool because i do street view every time i do i, I enter my miles and then uh, my steps and uh, see my location on the map i can see myself getting closer and closer to mount fuji it's really cool it's quite cool and when you pass sort of um pretty areas like notable panoramics and stuff like that you get a little virtual postcard which is cute yeah, i mean when you start as well you get a little bib <laughs> like as if you're in a race so you get your bib number and at the end you get a little digital digital certificate but also like i say you do get a medal and it's a very flashy medal but it's a proper one it's like made out of metal and the whole thing so most of the money you pay to do this challenge uh, it goes into the into the charity donations and the medal and I found that I am suitably suitably shallow because I'm really into uh, it's, I've been out walking nearly every day trust me before that 3864 3864 oh this is what I could put ABs in for this should I do it? Oh, I might do all of them as ABs because it's only five. Yeah, let's do this. Let's put ABs in. Not any done any ABs for ages, but as it's the edge of the tree, this is the bits that I want to have done by sunlight. You know, as if this because the sun is shining over here down this bit. Um, so I kind of want that little hint of it reflecting off the trees, off the leaves. Right, let's do this. Oh, I got instantly, instantly sidetracked because I'm a magpie and these are sparkly. <laughs> but uh, what, 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 what was I saying? Apart from being really shallow about getting this collector's medal. Yes, so, well, it's not collector's medal. It's, it's a race finishing medal. But like, I collect stuff like that. Just as soon as I saw it, it's right up my street. That does not, does that fit together? in there why don't you fit together i don't think there's a knobby on there let me try let me get that one up try a different one um when i used to well when i used to i haven't been to disney for a few years but i did i do i'm a big disney nut so you know if you've ever been to disney theme parks you'll know pins you know, the metal pins that you wear are a big collector's and tradable sort of mini game that you play around the parks. People have them all on lanyards and stuff. Anyway, so I like, I that is my kind of jam to just collect pretty things like metal, metal objects. I really am a magpie. So, uh, yeah, so I've picked Mount Fuji because it was the prettiest medal. <laughs> I mean, where I'm, where where it's going and seeing all the little postcards and stuff, that is a nice bonus. I'll give it that. But I mostly just picked it because it was a pretty, <laughs> it was a pretty medal. But uh, yeah, it's got me out. It's it's doing the job because I've walked. I'm halfway through my challenge, and it's two weeks tomorrow, and I'm over halfway. I think I was fifty six percent. Three eight two six. 3826 and uh, yeah I allowed two weeks for it which I thought was going to be fine because I do I do go out every day no I do go out like two or three times a week I mean just just going to the supermarket because I walk to the supermarket uh, that alone is like sort of five or six miles so I did originally think, oh, six weeks, that'd be plenty. And uh, most of that, if I if I don't enjoy it very much, then it's fine because a lot of it will happen happening organically. 
because I'll just be going for a walk anyway. But no, I did nearly four miles yesterday. I did nearly, I did four miles on Friday. I did, I only did a mile on Saturday because it was miserable. And then Sunday, I didn't go out because that was miserable. That's the downside of, of weather at this time of year. 3819, 3819. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I went out and I did 3.7 miles and that's why I want to rack it through this quite quick because I plan to go out for a walk again after I've done this to get my, where is it? What do I want? This one. To tick off a couple of miles because today when I go, this is, I, I, I am like, I, to see, it turns out, I need a carrot, but I need a carrot with it doesn't have to be an expensive reward, but I, it just need it does need need to uh, mean something to me. Today, uh, if I I only have to do I think one point five miles, then I've hit the sixty percent mark, which gives me I, I'm taking plastic plastic bottles out of the ocean. <laughs> that is my my charity of choice for this uh, challenge, and yeah, so I'll take. By going for a walk, I take out 10 bottles, plastic bottles out of the ocean. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Three, three, four, eight. So, yeah, I'm quite shallow. <laughs> but but when, when I find that thing that ticks my boxes, yeah, it, it really ticks, ticks my boxes. So I'm really happy. So hopefully by, you know, the summer. Because if I can do it when it's... You know, it's iffy weather at this time of year. Then I can definitely do it like when spring is nicer and then summer. We'll see how it goes through the summer because, you know, summers can be a bit of a... Um, I'm not going out in 30 plus degrees. Plastic bottles or not. I think next time, though, I'm going to do a... Plant the tree. I'm going to plant the tree for my next challenge. See, I'm already thinking about my next challenge. <laughs> but uh, when I get my medal, because obviously I'm not actually finished the challenge yet, but I'm confident I will be in the next sort of week or so, probably. And then, it, oh, I don't want to frog it. Get off. Uh, that's only got two. Nine, six, six. Um, and then I don't know how long the medal takes to arrive. Nine... Nine, not nine, 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 six, six. I, don't know, I, I sometimes get number dyslexia. And there's nine, 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 six, and nine, six, six, but it's definitely nine, six, six. Um. Yes. So, oh, where did that was? Um. Oh, what what colour did I just do? That was. Uh. What was it? Three, three, four, eight. Oh, which was over here. Three, three, no, this one. I I get so pedantic about these drills sometimes. No, that is not the same colour. If I did, I put in the wrong colour. Because that should be three, three, four, eight, and that is definitely not three, three, four, eight. It does look very bright, doesn't it? It does look out of place. What would I have put in? Do you know what? I'll figure it out after the video because I can look look at the playback and see what I put in by accident. But it was definitely not three three four eight. So I've probably done probably talking of number dyslexia. I'll take all those. Good. So that was like a blessing in disguise, wasn't it? having that drop drill because it made me look at the colour and the colour is wrong yeah let's put all those up there right I'll go back to let me just frog all of those okay I'll do that afterwards so this was now I can't remember what colour this was 966, wasn't it? Uh, which was this one? 966. Alright, 
So yeah, when I get that, I'll show you the medal. But I've already got plans to like, or I'm already thinking, oh, I could print out the postcards and my bib and then I'll put it in a little frame, you know, and then when I get the next challenge, I'll do the next one and put that, you know, in the same frame. I'll take out the old one and put in the new one. So each time I finish a challenge. And then if I get one that feels really special, then I'll keep it in its frame. But for now, I'll just rotate them in. But it says, yeah, I was just, oh. <laughs> but I, I, I need to do it today. Right, let's do this one now. So that was three, three, four, eight, three, three, four, eight. That looks better. That's in your face green. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've heard of them or have done them or know of someone who done them. Let me know what you think. My one is Conqueror one, which are, they're like the biggest one. So, but I did see there's like quite a few companies that that do them, smaller ones. So really, it's just a question of me deciding which medals I like. Because I, I just go for the pretty ones. <laughs> I'm such a girl sometimes. It's like, oh, I like that one. It's really pretty. It was, they are really pretty, though, these medals. Gorgeous, the uh, Mount Fuji one. Right, so I think what I'm going to do now, because we're at 42 minutes, I'm going to uh, give my elbow a little rest. And then I'm going to come back and do some, what do you call it? Thingy. You know, thingy. Time lapse. That's the word. Uh, yeah, so I'll whip through some time lapse for just it'll just be half an hour. It'll be half an hour or so for me, but it's only going to be like 15, 20 seconds. Otherwise, you know, it takes me two hours to do six squares because I'm a slowpoke. So yeah, see you again in a sec. So while I was doing those, that was quite exciting, really. So three, seven, six, six. I need to do some top ups, and I thought, oh, it's just one. I'll put that on one side. And then now I've got to do five, one, nine, and that's also hardly got any blues left. So hopefully there will be enough just to do this section that I need. I've only got two colours needed to complete these six squares now, so this should actually go quite quick. But hopefully, I'll get my tumble dryer sheet back in there. I had tons of static when I unkitted these. Um, hopefully there's enough drills there. I don't know. I'm not sure there is. Uh, I'll have to grab a little packet. They're, they're over to the side, so it's not far. But let's get started and then we can find out, can't we? So, uh, yeah. Oh, that was a bit of a crunch. Oops. That all went very well. I find a couple of small mistakes but it was nothing major it was just like it was t the type of thing that, like that meant to be there and you know that sort of thing and there was two two drills that was in the wrong place of two different colors for that matter um i've kind of, kind of lost my place here yeah and it took me a while to figure out what was wrong because everything wasn't making any sense because some of the colors are very similar and i thought one color was was not the colour I thought it was <laughs> both times and when you're starting so it meant I started counting from the wrong place which is probably how I messed it up in the first place um when you're working with a lot of similar colours uh, you just get thrown for a loop sometimes so I was looking at it I'm like it's, it's wrong but I can't figure out why it was wrong it just it made no sense my poor brain I object to thinking. I object to thinking. Right, so let's do that one. This is where it starts getting trickier because I also cannot see the edge of the box anymore because that side is completely filled. So I'm ticking off as I go and hopefully I won't lose my place. These two. Oh, the kids are out. Kids are out in the playground. Apologies if you hear any screaming. That's just kids being kids. 
I took that off, but I hadn't put it in. So let's put that in there. Oh, get in. Frisky. Stop it. Some of these drills aren't actually the ever moment drills. They're, um, I bought a couple of blues early on when I was just too impatient to, right, there. To, because, uh, you know, obviously with so many colours, I had to do a proper spreadsheet and figure out what I needed and all this sort of malarkey. So what I did was initially, I just found like the first sort of, I think it was like eight colours that was up in the corner that was all blues. Uh, so that I could, I could start working on it. Just, you know, just for the, the thrill of a start, basically. Um, done that one. Take that off. Take that off. No, take that one. Now I take that off. Uh, so I had that. I had a few drills of colours just there. So I had something to work on while I waited for everything else to arrive. And they are really nice drills because they're resin as well. But um, they have a bit more trash. So I just need to keep an eye on that as well. But it's not too bad. You can't tell the difference really between them and the ever moment ones. They are just as pretty and twinkly. Right. Um, where's the line? That's the line. I can't see the line. Yeah, that's the line. So that's that. That's that corner. Space, that, space. Right. There. Oh, so if if you um oh God, you know, uh, that's that's trouble. I flit around so often with my chats, I don't know if it's a kitten up video or one of my whipping chats or the whipping chat I did for Valentine's Day or anti Valentine anti Valentine's Day, whatever the case may be. Come back. Why did you ping? And but one of them I mentioned about um like I, I had some stickers. Maybe it was the maybe it was the Valentine's one. Because I was talking about the stickers that I got from Dreamer Designs. They include it all on their little their sheet. Right, so this is the first one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is there. And that is there. And uh, I don't have a logbook. I don't keep a logbook. And I've got Gems Flow, which I find quite hard to keep up with. But I, I I can manage it, but it's like it's about I guess it's about the habit, isn't it? Making a, a new habit. So one, two, three, four, five. So I've got to put one there. Leave a space. Anyway, oops, don't do it wrong. Don't. Where was you? Here, here, there. That's the thing, I take my, it's not got trash on it there. I take my hand, you know, the tweezers move away from the, my place and we're like, I've lost my place. So, now I've ticked off an extra one. Um, and it was this one. Oh, something's wrong, something's wrong. <laughs> I, I'm skipping ahead and I can see something's wrong. Isn't it? So that's the one, two, one, two, three. Space. Oh no, it was that one. It's because I've ticked it off. Okay. Uh, but yes, I um, I I was like, ah, oh, I kind of want a logbook, just so I've got a place for my diamond painting stickers, if nothing else. So I got this. I I just happened to upon it. When I was in the supermarket in the grocery, so it's like a it's little little A5 book, and it's one of them ones. It's paper, but it's like that. I don't know how they do it. It's almost like moleskin, but it's got its little elastic band, and it's got a little place for a pen. I thought, you know what, I'll have that, 
and it's only plain paper but it's a nice chunky one it's nice it's like it's like proper nice no, it's, it's almost like an artist's sketchbook like for pencils and stuff it's really nice paper i thought Do you know what i'll get something i'll get that and i'll i'll make a log book out of it but i have terrible handwriting so i think what i'll have to do i, I was thinking i would make some stickers like i'm talking of stickers but you know just to decide what information I want in it. So obviously like the name of the painting and where I bought it from. I'm not going to bother with the how much. And, the, and the, I, I might have a start date and a finish date. But I'm going to keep it simple because the more things I have to fill out. It's got one of these little things and so I can remember my place. Nice and silky, it's pretty. And uh, But yeah, I need to keep it simple. Otherwise I just won't fill it out. <laughs> so it's, it needs to be very low maintenance but he's got this little thing in and talking to stickers see so uh i don't know if you've seen it but uh Kristen, if Kristen is uh, she sent me this letter as well she has a channel i will leave a link down below for um for Kristen's channel but she has um this is pippy the crafty peep she had these stickers made and she's like Does, if anybody wants one just you know fill out a google form now she is still doing it at the time i made this video but no guarantees that she's going to keep doing it forever because you know it costs money and stuff uh but for now you might want to check out her channel if you like this sticker because this is pippy so i thought oh there's a little message she did send some extra oh, i love this one <laughs> it's a little taco neon taco and uh, oh i've lost one but where is he oh there, there he is i, I knew i li had a little care bear so I've got some more stickers. This is a little, a little pocket. And this is one of the ones I I finished. So I need to, I thought I'd put that sticker in there so I don't lose it. But yeah, so uh, Pippi, if you're watching, Kristen, thank you. And Pippi will take pride of place. I might even put him, I can't decide whether I want sticker pages in my book or whether to do the cover. Because the cover is really, really nice. But that's only now. I know... <laughs> I know in like a year's time that's going to be rough. So um, <laughs> I have this, I've yet to decide how am I going to put the stickers. See, that's the thing. I've got a logbook. I bought a logbook now. So that's one step. But the big step is uh, having to make decisions. But I thought I would share that. And yeah, as I say, oh, down the I will leave a link to her channel down in the description below if you want to check out and see if. If she's still standing out stickers, if you like Pippi, then she may well send you a Pippi. Ah. Oh, did I just put that in the wrong place? No. I had a moment there. I had a moment. But it's all right. Take that off. But yeah. Finally, I, I was like, do you know what? Even if, even if I don't keep filling out as a logbook, at least I've got to play some stickers. <laughs> it's all about the stickers. I'm quite, like I, like I was saying earlier, I'm quite shallow. The, the things that really <laughs> amuse me, like I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm a simple girl at times. It doesn't take much. And down here. Oh no, I was looking out the window and it's because I film right in front of the window. And oh this is... Why is there no room for this drill? Get in there. It needs a crunch, there we go. Um and it's getting quite cloudy. How am I supposed to go for a walk when it's cloud oh, actually I don't mind if it's cloudy. Just as long as it doesn't rain. Has that got a thing on it? That looks like it's got a thing on it. That does indeed have a thing on it. Tab. You don't like tabs. Let me push my drills out of place. Where did that come from? Did I do that? Right. There. But, uh, yeah. I did ask at the time if, if anybody else had a, a logbook. What's your thoughts of it? Do you keep it maintained? Is it your Bible? Do you keep anything else in your logbook? Or is it just diamond painted stuff? 
because I know a lot of people do um, different crafts. And they used to be when I in my because you know I came from my my roots, my crafting roots, well not really crafting, but creative roots. As I used to have a coloring adult coloring channel, and they used to have this really awesome um, creative planner. So it was like a diary that you could keep track of, oops, keep track of like your, I don't want to frog it, I want to keep track of, you know, your events and um, things like that. Um, but that had a bonus because, you know, every few pages there would be something to colour in. You can't do that quite so much with the, I've lost my plots there, no. Um, um. Yes, that's the one I've done. All right, so I've done that row. Is the problem? Done that row. Mm, forgotten. Uh, so yeah, you could you could colour a picture every few pages. Unfortunately, until I can find, you know find a way to make a diary that could have a diamond painting sitting in it, like you know, like a little diamond painting. Maybe you could do it as a little. Diamond painting stickers, they do those, couldn't you? I found find a niche in the market. But um I did it, that I did used to use them, that planner. Not to its full potential, obviously, because it could do all sorts of lists and you know, keep track of your pencils and how many colouring books you had and all this sort of stuff. Which sounded awfully like effort. Um, why have I got something? I feel like have I moved over a line? Right, and now I'm gonna have to count. I'm gonna have to count. This is where it gets tricky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is this is where the line is. So I do have two squares there. Yes, got a square there. Yes. So this is the line I'm on here. So it should be two there, which I've done. So let's tick those off. Those two done. And that, I've, I've, for some reason I only did one, but didn't follow up with that one. So that should be there. Tick those two off. Honestly, I do make life harder for myself. And right, so that's perhaps I should just keep my finger there. <laughs> just, just keep my finger there. One there, yes, space, one, two. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that. I like holding my tray, it's like a comforter for me. Um, but these must, when so many colours are all the same. Though on that basis, I suppose, if you make a mistake, it doesn't actually matter that much. Because the colours are all the same. No one's going to notice. It's confetti sky. Which does look amazing. But oh, Hopefully I'll have enough drills. Still, it feels good to finish, you know, when you when I put these uh, drills in the pots. I think these, drill, these pots hold about 800. Drills, eight to nine hundred. So to actually finish up a pot, you know that's when you know you're making progress, isn't it? And I don't mind um, just t topping up the little pots like this. Oh, where did I go? It was there, wasn't it? Where was it? Yes, that one was. There. Oh. Which one was it? Right, I'm gonna to have to count again. I took my took my tweezers away from it, and I I can't remember if it was this one. I think it, no, it's not that one, because that would go up there. So where's the top of the box? This is the top. This is the top line. Okay. So that means I'm the, okay. So I'm there. I've done those two. Right, finger again. Put that there. Let's tick these off, so I'm hoping some 
vain desire, hope that I don't lose my place, but I already have. So let's do these two because that's easy to keep track of. And this one. But nearly the last colour, and I like it when it's the last colour because I just do a little scan to make sure that, you know, all the holes are where they're supposed to be. And then you just pop everything at once and you don't count anything. You just, you know, it be, fills in a big gap at the end. Oh, it's all so good. Right. So I'm going to do this in the hopes that I can, oh, come on. And one there. Space, space, yes. And then one here. And then another one up here. Okay, I know where I am. And I can see the black line, it's fine. Uh, this. Sorry, this is. Um, oh, I should, maybe I should have done this, saved the, this end bit for the time lapse. Unexpected having to brain. Right, I'll take those off. But yeah, how did your February go? Did you hit your. I know a lot of people do make. Um, you know. Not resolutions exactly, but you know you have you have goals, don't you? How's it all going so far this year or February? Be it diamond painting goals or personal goals, is everything going to plan, or is it all going? <laughs> ah, that's not right. There is there is things here that should not be here. Oh no, am I one over? One two, one two, three. Oh no, I am all right. Um, is it all going to plan? Or oh, has it all gone horribly wrong already? <laughs> it's all gone out the window. I'm quite impressed with myself. Because usually I don't even have any goals. I just... <laughs> I just blunder around. Phew. So that's all the drills I've got left. For 519. So I do need to do 519. And what did I just say? 3766. I will keep them out to one side. And our last, oh no, look, there's a symbol there. What's that? 164. One lonely little symbol. So we'll do that straight away. It's a nice colour, that. I'm going to pour that in the tree because look, it's going to look nice with the, with the pink. I only need one drill, <laughs> which is why I almost it was the arrow. Right, where was it? Up here next to this one. Okay. Nice minty green. Makes me want to eat a uh, spe something spearminty or mint ice cream. Oh, I love mint ice cream. Mint chocolate chip. You don't get that very much anymore, do you? It seems to be, a, a, I don't know. Some things are like defined by ages and like obviously you can get them, but it was very much a 70 th 70s thing. 3813. Very much a 70s thing, having mint, mint choc chip ice cream. Right, let's just do a quick scan. So one, yes, two, two, one, yes, yes, yes. And like things like Arctic Rolls. I don't know if they was, if they existed. I think you can still get an Arctic Roll in, in places like Iceland, maybe. I don't know. They're a very 70s, 80s thing. I don't know if you had them in the States. Arctic roll was like, it was like vanilla ice cream. And in, in a roll, obviously. I think of like a chocolate Yule log type thing. But uh, it was ice cream centre. That does not measure up how it should. Oh no, yes it does. And, um, but that doesn't. One, two, two. Two. 
two, one, two, one. Something should be there. Something should be there. What's that? That is nine, three, two. Let's just make sure. Yeah, because that's what it should be that colour. Nine, three, two. Nine, three, two. Where are you? Let's quickly pop that in while I remember. Nine, three, two. Um, oops, that was that minty one. I dropped one there. Oh, where was my spot? It was. One, two, right, so it's there. So we'll fix that. And then now I have to find out what that minty one was. One, six, four. This is why everything takes me so long. <laughs> Put that back in, back in the pot. Do you know what? That's not 164. That is, oh, oh, it's a different green. All right, well, I'll put that to one side. Um, right, okay, back to 893. But yeah, it was like a, like a Yule log, but it's without vanilla ice cream and it had like a strawberry jam or strawberry jelly, whatever you, if you're in the States. And okay, that's right. Oh, look, there's another mistake. That should be, should be something there. Oh, I made a right mess of it today. So that should be not a six four seven. Six four seven. Six four seven. And then it had a sponge. Oh, is that 647? Did I knock it off or something? That seems a bit of a coincidence otherwise. Oh, no, it's not. It's very close, so. Uh, now, let me figure out where it was. But that does remind, make me realise that it was probably the other L shape, because there's an L symbol. And one is L that way, and one is L that way and uh, they're both similar green so I bet that other green is the other symbol anyway I, diver I digress and what uh, what other things were like from the from like the 70s and 80s food obviously <laughs> my life it's all about food this is why I have to go out for walks uh, right so that one there and two there yes that's the right pattern. Right, let's go for it. We're just gonna, we're gonna go for it now. Oh. No, that hole, apart from this hole here. So that should be there, that should be there. One, two, three, and across. One, two, three, and across is this little down arrow. Five, one, nine. All right. Five one nine. Oh, I just missed that. That's the one I just did. I didn't spot it was up here, but I did tick it off because I'm an idiot. Right, get in there. Oh, was that five one nine? Oh, uh, so that goes there. Right. Okay. Now this is it. Now we're done. And did you ever have um? What are they called? Crispy pancakes. Oh my god. Crispy pancakes. They were like a savoury. You used to... Pancakes is like an interesting term. But there was like a little... Um... How would you describe them? Kind of like a little um... pasty or a sort of... Um... Like an apple turnover type thing, you know. So it it'd be like a circular thing, and you. Oh, I just stab myself with tweezers, and they were folded over. So it was like little pouches, and inside, it they was breaded on the outside, and uh, they had various fillings on the inside. Like I think they had like chicken and mushrooms, the type of fillings you'd have in a pie. And they were. I don't know what they were. They weren't. They weren't pastry, but they were. They did feel kind of dough based. I'm not really sure. I don't know, but that was a very. This is for like from my childhood, a time of less sophisticated 
dining choices <laughs> when you wanted a cheap meal. Uh, reminiscing. But that happens a lot, doesn't it? Like, there's like these foods, you don't really think about it. Like you have them and then you it's only years later that they just kind of... Oh, I've got glue on my tweezers. It's only years later you realise that you haven't seen it for ages. And then you you go to look and like, then you can't buy them anymore. <laughs> like they, I, th I think what they do is they kind of phase out the advertising. They'll be like, oh, it doesn't sell very well. But then um, they haven't advertised it or whatever because they want to bring out a new product because a new product brings, you know, a lot of fanfare and people are like, oh, I want to try that new thing. And uh, I think it's just that. that sort of the wars between the manufacturers isn't it to um, get your pro their product on your table uh, I don't know why I, how <laughs> sideways around food for, what was your favorite food from the childhood I, I that, do you know what that occurred to me the other day that um I, well, I haven't been playing my word game since I've been back so if you're not familiar with back in the day, I used to play a little word game to reward the people that are somehow miraculously still here at the end of the video or near the end. That's got a tab on it. And um, it would be to say a, say a word in the comment, you know, make the comment, use the word. But the catch is you can't just say the word, right? That's got holes in the top of the drop. Oh, there you go. There you go. And um, because otherwise, if you know, if you go to someone's comments and everybody's writing banana, um, like people just say banana because they think they're entering for a prize or something like that. So I used to give a word, but you had to fit it into a sentence that, uh, that said it had it made sense. So you're not saying it. Some of them did sound a bit weird. They always used to make me laugh because you all get so creative. <laughs> it's like, oh, your little stories just to fit this word in. So let's have, let's fit a word in. You can tell me all about your favourite nostalgic foods from your childhood. But whilst doing so, I want you to include the word hmm, let's let's have a, a reminiscent um, potato waffles <laughs> if you can give me a sentence telling me all about your favorite food from a childhood but also fit in the word or words potato waffles see I've even made it easy for you because I've given you a question and you can answer just give me that potato waffles. Yeah. And next time, next video, I'll make it something if I remember, because you know what my memory's like. I'll give you something a bit more challenging. I won't ask a question that you... You'll just have to think up your own answer to a question with some weird, wacky word in. Like ferrets. <laughs> ferrets or... Um, Donkey Kong, or, oh. no, Donkey Kong's too easy, you just talk about games, um, or, oh. what's another really weird word, well, um, do you know, I, I can think of weird words all the time, and yet, now that I'm on the spot, I can't think of one, Jumanji, You know, there's all sorts of words that aren't or names that don't come up in everyday conversation. But I'm going to make you put it in everyday conversation. It's like a challenge. <laughs> potato waffles. That's not that weird. I don't mind potato waffle. I think you can still get them. But again, that was something you used to have as a kid. 
Right, nearly done. Nearly done. I'm in the last square. Well, nearly. I'm nearly, nearly done. I might go out before it starts raining. The goal today, I've got a tab on it. I only have to do 1.5 miles to save the world. Because obviously it's all going to be down to my 10 plastic bottles. And I'm going to save the world by walking a mile and a half. You're welcome. Any time. Right. Oh, we always inside. I do like this last bit where you can fill them in all really quick. Sorry, my hand was probably in the way there, wasn't it? I try and keep it open. I will post a picture at the end. I'll try and remember. There was one the other day. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll post post a picture of like how it was in June when I stopped and now it's the end of January. I'll post a picture and then but it was too dark. Because it was it, that day was really grim. We've had some oops, that's all slid along. We've had some really grim re weather at the start of the year with storms. And that day it was just like I'd run quite late in the afternoon, so I think it was only like it was like four o'clock, but it's just so dark. I'm like, oh, I'll take a picture next time before I start painting again. I'll remember. <laughs> I never learn. I mean, maybe it's because I don't remember that I don't remember. But I really, I should have just stuck a post-it note on it saying, don't forget to take a picture next before you start. So I was editing the video and I'm like, yeah, be sure to check out all the pictures so you can compare. I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'd already worked on it since. Uh-oh. Never mind. Part of my my rich tapestry of life, forgetting everything. But then, by forgetting everything, it means you do something, and it feels like you're doing it for the first time. Except movies, I can watch a movie, and I always remember how it goes. So most of the time, I don't watch. I have to really like a movie to uh, watch it a second time, because I can just remember what happened. So I can't be bothered. But I'm not like that with books. I can I can read a book again, and uh, you know I, you, I remember vague bits about it, but I don't remember the details. Maybe it's because movies don't have the, you know don't tend to go in that much detail, do they? It's a, more of a visual thing. But uh, yeah, I certainly get plenty of bang for my buck sometimes. Because I just forget everything. <laughs> I go back and it's just like, yeah. It's like playing, it's like my game. I love the story and everything, but there's loads of details that I forget about it. So I have actually played through it a, a second, well, yeah, second time. And uh, there's loads of stuff I either forgot or never noticed in the details from the first playthrough. Because I'm a bit, um, with books especially, and binge TV sometimes as well. If there's a whole series, I'm just like, I just, oh, just can't put it down. I'm always like, if, with a book, I'm like, oh, just one more chapter before bed. And then I read my one chapter. I'm like, yeah, oh, that went well, quite well. It's not that late. You know, owls are flying past. Bats. The night bus, whatever vampires they're all going past because it's the middle of the night oh it's not that late one more chapter the next thing i know it's like 2 30. I'm like oh well let me just finish this one chapter one more <laughs> right last drill no wonder i forget everything there we go right let's put this away and we'll get these uh the today's drills into what's it called stitch pal Hold on, I found another. Oh, I, don't know, I think I think like what I was saying with um, this drill, or th these trays, is things get caught, and then I tap them into the to the pot to empty my drills, and there's always one that stays in a nozzle. 
it catches me out every time because obviously it requires me to actually um, remember <laughs> that it's going to do it. Uh, never do. I never remember. So every time I put away a colour, then I'll, I'll forget one. Right, let's just tick all these off. Yes. Right, so we should be at 600 for today. Right, so that's what we did. A little bit of tree. Got a couple of ABs in, so that was nice. Right, and we're at 18,600 now, so 4.46%. Let's get to Stitch Pal. Right, so drag and race. I'm trying to do it so that it doesn't reflect off the window and stuff. So we did 600 stitches today. And how long do you stitch? I don't know. I always fill this out. I don't know why. I don't care how long it takes, but it's just because it always is there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you can see it's caught to two. So hopefully I've got a nice hour, hour and a half for my walk to save the world. Right. And now we are, so... Yeah, that's all entered. So let's do the calculator. And we are due to finish on 2000, um, 2084. So there we go. We are making progress. I, I'm sure it was 86. Yeah, I'm sure. Maybe. I don't know. But we're getting there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you all again soon. And check out the picture at the end. Don't forget those thumbs up. Bye for now. Bye.